player. He's one of those guys that when he gives a tip to the community, he's like confidence is key. But when talking to him before this tournament, he says he doesn't feel very well about his game. And that's very uncharacteristic from Dubby. He's going to need to get his confidence back, do what he always does, and get the W. Well, True Boy is going to have it first. He brings it out to the 34-yard line. You talked about the, the bitterness, perhaps, between these two players. Yeah, and we should talk about that because, like I said, if Dubby gets his confidence, True already has problems keeping his cool. Now, if you take somebody that you don't really get along with or is a rivalry of yours and he starts talking at you, <laughs> that's going to help you. That's going to make you lose your cool. So it'll be interesting to see if Dubby starts talking to him at all during this match and how True Boy handles that if it happens and vice versa. Well, they're on the couch. You know, you can put hands on someone if you need to. I don't recommend it. And Freeman breaks out to the 38-yard line, but you talked about it. You're, you can sort of feel the presence of that other player right there beside you. True Boy already calling a timeout. Right next to you. And like, I, you can feel that presence. And you know what? You don't ever want anyone swagging on you in a game of Madden. That's one of the most frustrating things when you're playing. It's not only that you're losing, it's, hey, someone else is feeling good at my expense. And that's not a good feeling at all. And you could feel that even more when you're sitting right next to your opponent. So, again, um, I keep bringing it up, but emotions, you got to keep them in check in this situation. So sort of the, you talked about it, that we're going to see a little bit of the tweez offense here, but he's, in that Atlanta setup, and Dubby already smiling, bringing the heat. Oh, that's a big sack for Dubby. Gets true in third and 13 early. And for someone that likes to run the ball, that's not where you want to be. It'll be interesting to see how True responds. <clears throat> so third and 13. Ball at the 31. Jones solo to the left. Matt Ryan's getting to the outside, wow. and the throw. There's nothing wrong with that. What a Great completion, great read. Yeah, what a big play by True. Right when you thought W was looking to take all of the momentum, True responds right back, gets the first down, gives him a little yell with the dot. Gets the first down right back in control. Come on, man. That's one of the first catches we've seen for Muhammad Sanu. And I should call it out. True Boy running the Atlanta offense with the Indianapolis Colts defense. Dubby rocking the Green Bay Packers offense with the New England Patriots defensive playbooks. Yeah, Dubby's been in that Packers offense since day one of the game. We'll see if he'll be in bunch or if he'll be in gun doubles when he gets the ball. He's got a, some work to do on defense. And they get the ball to the 37. And you see True in this spread offense. One thing that I saw yesterday is Skimbo and Dubby were here in the practice area all day yesterday, Coltrane, and they were practicing against the same exact formation. So we'll see how the preparation comes into play for Dub Dot Dubby. Split close out of the gun now. Look at him just controlling traffic at that line of scrimmage and it's what you talked about earlier having those audibles being able to really pick your scheme and bring the plays that you want at the line of scrimmage it's a whole nother style of madden and there goes matt ryan for seven yards and dubby gives him a little homage on that read <laughs> get true get blows into his hand a little bit keep the hands warm those are the money makers so ball at the 30. this is interesting you see oh Dubby controlling oh, yeah. his safety up oh, there. Oh, yeah. Dubby obviously had his coaching adjustments for his pass rush on aggressive. That's going to cost him five yards. Ball at the 25 for True. He's on a drive. True boy goes nowhere. Wow, that was a good adjustment by W. You seen him with Cam mm. Chancellor, knows that stretch is coming out of this single back spread type offense, and then contains the outside himself. Way to be a force defender right there if you dub dot W. So second and eight from the 28. He throws it quickly outside to Gabriel, but he can't hang on. And now he got a third and eight. Notice that he canceled the play action to get it out there quick. Gabriel just couldn't hang on. And if you want to do that, if you're at home, a beginner user, to cancel the play action, you tap the right trigger during the quarterback's drop back. He'll pull the ball out, not do the play fake, and get set to pass earlier. 
So third and eight from the 28. Big play right here for True. This is huge. Really want to get seven against a guy like Dub Dot Dubby to start the game. Oh, no! And that might be on the edge of field goal range for Bryant. It'll be a 52-yarder from there. Bryant's a goon. He should be He's able got a to strong hit this. Leg. No problem. You see that accuracy meter right there? Got a lot of accuracy. Yeah, that would have been good from 56. So True gets on the board first. Three to nothing for the young fella. Decent drive right there by True, but also you saw some good things from Dubby right there. He had good defense for the stretch, was able to set the edge himself. You saw True throwing those drag routes. Dubby's had zones underneath ready to strip the ball when he needed to. Just good high-level Madden all around right there on that opening drive. We got ourselves a ball game. So Dubby will have his first possession of the Madden Classic here from the 28. And he will come out and gun doubles. And now he'll go up underneath. Dive to Rawls. And he'll pick up two. Let's check in with Zach Farley. Scott, over here, that eruption you heard earlier was Skimbo on fourth and one getting a big stop. He turned it into three points. Now we live look at Stevie J on a big third and four. That purple team is the Vikings. They're one of other, uh, one of the other 30 teams in the NFL. We'll see them today for Stevie yeah. J. Latavius Murray, Jarek McKinnon, the pitch offense. Can he convert or will he go down early to Skimbo on third and four? Bridgewater making a few adjustments here as the play clock ticks on down. Skimbo in that 3-3-5 odd and a big conversion for Stevie J. Back over to you boys. Well, good to see a new team there, Z Farls. And so the Vikings make their debut, and so does Stevie J finally here at a major. He finished 33 just outside the top 32 last year. Yeah, that means he missed the Madden Championship Series by one spot. And you want to talk about perseverance, that's a tough pill to swallow. But to fight through that and make it here to the first live events, hats off to Stevie J. That's respect right there, young man. And Dubby. Getting locked up there. And Ball at the 48. That's a loss of three. We should mention, too, Dubby has some extra incentive in this tournament. He is chasing history, Coltrane. He's trying to be the first person in the Madden Championship era to win two belts. He already has one. The only other person that has the possibility of doing this in this, ev in this event is his buddy Skimbo. Let's go! So both of them Big looking set! to chase history here in this event. Russell Wilson... Scrambles to the 45, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. Three to nothing in favor of True Boy. When the quarterback runs like that, you really need to try to get him with a hit stick or a strip ball tackle because they keep it on that conservative ball carrier adjustment, what allows the quarterback to observe a lot of those wrap tackles without fumbling. That's something that I think we might see tune later as the year goes on because Madden's meta is constantly changing, but as of right now, that's the way the game works, and that's what you got to deal with. So third and six, Wilson, and that's a nice find to Richardson. And so two for two on this drive is Dubby, and he gets to the 22. Good looking throw. Dubby, he's already in field goal range, so worst case scenario, as long as he doesn't turn the ball over, he should be able to tie this up. But you know Dubby, he wants seven right here. He will run it to Thomas Rawls, you and really Rawls will pick up four yards. Like Just averaging a yard a carry is Grady it's Jarrett, new. the former Clemson Tiger, makes the stop. Is there a Clemson <laughs> player you don't know? <laughs> well, the answer to that is absolutely not. I mean, there's a, I know them all. I figured. Yeah. And Wilson. Can't get rid of it. Me. We both are different breed. Nice heat there from Poole. Yeah, good blitz dial up right there from True. Gets Dubby back in a third and ten. Got ourselves a big play right here because Dubby, if he doesn't get this first down, he's going to have to take three. If you're True, you do not want to let up this first down. This is a big play here, Coltrane, early in the second quarter. Needs ten. Wilson throwing on a run and hits Tyler Lockett down to the four-yard line. 
Put what vision by Dup Dup Dup. He looked like, like he it. wanted to do the scramble right before he's about to cross the line of scrimmage. Let's it go. Finds the open receiver over the middle. Great vision right there by the Philadelphia native. Double tight end under center is Wilson. And he'll stretch it out to Rawls. And Thomas fight Rawls will stiff ah. arm his way for six. And you hear Dumpy fight for me. Ah, showing some of that emotion that he brings to the table ever so often. And Dubby usually has a different kind of emotion. He's one of those few guys that can let it out there, get emotional, but usually keep his cool when it counts. That's a unique skill that Let's not go. a lot of players have. Yeah, one of the best game managers we've seen. And this time, just able to get away to the outside. And Trufant is not having a good day. And look at Rawls just fighting for him. Throws a little stiff arm out there, smacks the hand out of the way, says, don't worry, Dub Dot, I'll fight for you one time. So Tevin Coleman brings it out to the 26-yard line, and now True Boys trailing by four with 321 left in the half. You do have to be careful kicking the ball off to True Boy. He has some of the best stick in the entire community, and the way he got here was in his elimination game, returning an overtime kickoff against Beast Mode Mac to send him punch his ticket here to the Madden Classic. And Freeman breaks the KJ Wright Let tackle. But he only picks up two. Ain't no pussy on a pedestal. So second and eight. Wonder how you know? Switching up their angles. What is two fifty to go. This shit is bag, man. Pass the ball. Third and seven. Here we go, check it work. Check it call, check it call. Ball at the 28. Big down right here. See Dubby user control in that Cam Chancellor. Outside of Julio Jones, and they're at the 40. Let's go to Zach to check in on the other game. Scott, we've got a Madden game break. Gimbo on, defense gets the user pick, and that is Alexander. He's gonna run it all the way down, cash it in, goes up 10-0, Stevie J responds, but it's 10-3 Skimbo with the rock. Bag. And Alex, really bag or not? here bag. goes it's Freeman. Bag. You know it's bag, you know it's bag. Really Freeman, please, please game. we'll take it please to the game. house. Please game, you gotta give him one. Oh, oh and they're talking to each bag. other. Y'all know it's bag, y'all know it's bag. Oh, it's getting yeah, emotional wow. over there. Bad. Dubby's talking to the people Good in the run. crowd. Y'all know it's bad. And now True Boy's got a three-point lead. Good run. Look, Look at that again, RG. Look at True. This, oh, ooh, what a CA animation and then off to the races. You don't see the running backs bounce that bounce off the linemen that smooth very often, but when they do, you got to take advantage of it, and True Boy for sure took advantage of it right there. Way to answer back for so the young fella you know. against Dub Dot. Absolutely, as Lockett spins to the 29. 203, just before the two minute warning. And these are two guys that had to go through a lot to get here. They both went to three challenger events apiece, weren't able to qualify at each one of those challenger events. That's a lot of traveling, that's a lot of competitive Madden before they were finally able to punch their ticket to get here through online elimination. So he gets out to the 45, two minute warning, trailing by three. Is Dubby. What a game. This is back and forth. Rushed the ball seven times, only throwing it three. Wilson looking and finding Jimmy Graham, but a nice tackle there by Alford. <laughs> Dubby just gives a little celebration. True boy looking as locked in as ever. You can feel the intensity on that couch from here, Scott. Ninety seconds left in the half. Our first game of Group A. I mean, I'm not very smart, but we had Group B first. Now we have Group A. It's the second group of the day. Don't make me faint, dude. Don't, don't, don't confuse me. 
Let's see. Little backwards, though. Hand off to Rawls, and Rawls. Oh, we got by him! And he is rapping, trapping, spinning, and here. grinning for six points. Dobby staying intense. And that's the intensity he brings, man. He's the type of dude that leaves it all out there on the field, and you can see it. Blowing up! And you see him, we talked about it earlier. He's talking, he's yapping in True Boy's ear. But so far, True Boy doing a fantastic job at keeping his composure. Take a look at it again. A little delay to Rawls, and New got put in the spin cycle. The problem was True clicked onto the defender, and it looked like he went for the hit stick instead of the conservative tactical to just wrap him up and get hands on him. Sometimes when you go for the gusto, you'll pay for it. That's what happened right there for True. Yeah, and with the conservative running coach Questions. adjustments, you got to just make the conservative tackle there. Yeah, you got to get hands on him. Don't give up the big play, especially in this game where points are so hard to come by. Nonetheless, dump in for six, and True Boy's got to respond here. Under a minute to go. Freeman! Slip one. Like, please, please, please. Dubby looks like he's getting a little it's frustrated. Going to have to step up your run defense a little bit, Dub. One timeout for True Boy. Trailing by four. He goes back to Freeman. And he hits him for another 12. Of course, right now, Dubby just trying not to give up the big play before the end of the half. Yeah, and the thing, exactly, you don't want to give up the big play. And True running the ball, which is all fun in games until you got no timeouts and only 49 seconds left on the clock like he does now. So at some point, he's going to have to air it out here. So 49 seconds to go in the half. No timeouts, as RG said. Ryan, good job picking up the blitz. And he'll throw to the sideline. And he can't he it, get the he toes in bounds. That's the animation of death right there, Coltrane. That's one of those possession catch animations that if you trigger that one on the sideline, sometimes they're just not able to get their feet down. It really hurts, but it's something that happens often. And it can be frustrating for the players. You just got to overcome it if you're true boy. Just like this. And there is Freeman. He'll get out of bounds at the 43. Close to 100 yards here in the first half. Already for Freeman. And that brings up a big third and one. And like we said, no timeouts. Only 38 seconds left. If you're true, you got to make something happen. And you got to make sure you're getting out of bounds. But you also want to make sure you pick up this first down because it's third and one. He'll stretch it outside again, and K.J. Wright with the biggest play of the half defensively. And this is an right awkward Don't situation. Right this is scary if you're true. You need to pick up this first down, or Don't you're going to give right W.S. two timeouts, potential time to get in field goal range and get additional points if he stops you. This is a huge play right here, Scott. This is a momentum play. Fourth and five for True Boy from the 47-yard nah, line. They ain't gonna get to you. You got to earn it, baby. Thought he's talking to him. And Matt Ryan. And he finds Austin Hooper, who leaks out and gets to the 35 yard line. He was wide open. What a read by True Boy. Didn't rush it. Let Cooper cross the Dubby's user defender. And then look at this smarts to get out of bounds and stop that clock. In field goal range. Play. We saw Bryant already hit one from 52 earlier. The play action goes to Tyler Gabriel. Does not get out of bounds. Clock is moving. 20 seconds to go in the half. If you're true, you got to be careful right here. This clock is ticking and you cannot stop it. Might be better to throw the ball away and take three. And he does, and that's going to be a flag. So it's going to be a loss of down, and it's going to move it out of field goal range to the 42-yard line. Oh, no, what a costly mistake. True got a little bit too green. He should have just went for the field goal. 
got himself in a bad situation. He needs to get a pass over to the sideline. Gun wide stack, throws it to the outside. And that is Coleman who gets it to the 37. It'll be a 54 yarder from here. I think he can hit that. I think he should be able to hit the 54. We saw Bryant's leg earlier. And that was a huge play by True. Perfect kick. A little bit early, but I think he's got the distance. And we got ourselves a one-point game, two seconds before the half. Wow, what poise by True Boy. Things didn't go his way on that drive, and he was able to fight through the adversity and still turn it into points. Very mature drive right there by young True. Well, these two heavyweights, one in the old school, one from the new school, youth movement is trailing by one to Dubby, last year's Madden Bowl champ. And you can tell these guys want this one for a, for a lot of reasons. Absolutely. Dubby showing the emotion. He's obviously into the game. And you know how much True wants this because he's not showing any emotion. We talked about he needs to keep his cool, and he's done a phenomenal job of that. Like I said, he had the bad possession catch that probably should have been a catch, went out of bounce. Then he gets an intentional ground him to take him out of field goal range, but still turns it into points. And that's the type of composure you need to have if you want to walk away with a double you here at the Madden Classic. Well, it's just a one-point game. Dave. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. A really, really good first game here to kick off Group A. Rico, we saw Dubby getting fired up, interfacing with the crowd. True by running the football like we knew he would. What did you see in that first half? I didn't see the same game you saw. I saw Dubby in complete control of this game. That game is it's a one-point game, but Dubby has had complete control and dictated this. Now, True Boy, we knew he had a running offense, but I didn't know it was a version of the wishbone where he just wished and hoped for broken tackles and stuff like that. Right now, with Dubby getting the ball back, this game is his as long as he continues to play the same way in the first half. Fantastic. And Zach, in our B game, Michael Skimbo, Madden champion, seems to be handling business over there. He is taking it to Stevie J so far in this first half. Some amazing highlights early for Skimbo. It was nothing, nothing. He gets a drop touchdown here. And you might think Stevie J's hanging. Uh, Stevie J's hanging in this one. Three, nothing. He goes up, but then it's all defense. Skimbo, we saw this in the Madden game break. Alexander gets the user pick underneath to go up 10, nothing. From there, Stevie J fought back. Got a deep pass here on the sideline. Toe tapped it in, made it 10-3, but just before the half, Skimbo adds on. Jimmy Graham from in from one yard makes it 17-3. And then he got another deep post touchdown to make it 24-3 at the half. Now we take a look at our half-filled bracket from Group B. We see Tweez with that bye automatically into the semifinals. Chaos and Joke also advancing from Group B. This is who the guys in Group A will be taking on once they advance out of group play today. It is going to be a lot of really, really tough games in the remainder of Group A here. This is one of the best Madden fields we've seen in a long time here. Absolutely. You get the best of the best, and they're all playing at a high level. It's just about who executes and who gets it done. Absolutely. Well, we are here at the Madden Classic. We've been talking about classic Madden all day. We've been looking at some of the old school Madden covers. <gasps> one of the most famous ones oh, yeah. of all right there. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's the one that invented the hit stick, 05. That's my jam. That was my single back under center. Vision Cone McNabb, eh. Run to Daylight, Sean Alexander, 07. Vince Young, first year tournament went there. I beat him, just so you know. <laughs> so let's, let's end this right now. There's a rumor that Vince Young beat me when we played. I debacled him. There we go. We squashed it right here Done. once and for all. Looking yeah, ahead Vince to our Young group A is. schedule the rest of the day. Just hell games everywhere you look. Dubby Skimbo, True Boy, and Stevie J. But right now, we've got Adrian down on the sidelines with True Boy. Take it away, Adrian. All right, well, Adrian's having a couple of technical issues over there. That's all right. True Boy is getting ready to jump back into that second half against Dubby. Guys, real last quick thoughts before we jump back into this. I'm a huge True Boy fan. No one's been a bigger supporter than me all season long. Kid was as high as number two, won the Jags Club Series. I like True Boy. Dubby is a Rico guy. I like Dubby too. But I'm going for True Boy to come out in the second half, really put it to him, because I just want Rico to be wrong. He hasn't been wrong enough today. He's usually always wrong, but he's actually he's like a broken clock. 
write twice a day. <laughs> you got to respond to that. Yeah, there's not even enough to respond. You can't rationalize <laughs> irrational behavior. So what I'll tell you to do <laughs> is Tubby has the ball. He needs to put seven on the board. Keep the pressure on True Boy. Make him have to pass the ball. Get out of his comfort zone. And there you go. Fantastic. Farrell's messing with his notes. He's not going to have anything to look at. Let's jump right back into the second half. Scott, RG, take it away, guys. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Good stuff. And RG, what do these guys got to do here in the second half? It's just a one-point game. Honestly, I think both of them are playing phenomenal Madden football. True Boy keeping his composure, answering back through adversity. Dubby making big plays when he needs them. Uh, this is a coin toss. It's anyone's game. You got two of the best players in the world. They're showing you why. I, I can't wait to just get the second half going and let's, let's see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> tail's wagging pretty much. Yeah, I mean, both of these guys got as high as number two last year in the MCS uh, before True Boy sort of fell off a little bit. Let's see if he can continue the hot start here. He's trailing by one, and he's going to need a stop against Dubby, who will start the ball at the 25-yard line. Both of these guys made some pretty decent coin at the MCS last year. You had Dubby walking away with at least 80 $7,000 more for prize money in last year's MCS. And True Boy, at the young age of 20 years old, was able to bank 36K. You know what I would, 36K yeah. at 20 years old, that's not bad, Scott. So you're saying I can ask W for my 20 bucks back now? Absolutely. A throw to lock it. Oh, that was a tight window, and it's the first incompletion of the game for W. There we go. Let's see if True can get anything going on defense. Dubby's had no problem getting into true territory so far in this game. And if you're Dubby, this is an important offensive possession because True Boys ran the ball so well. Throws it into coverage, and Paul Richardson just got blown up. One thing I don't like from True's defense right there is he's sending all the pressure off of the left side, and that's allowing Russell Wilson to buy time and roll out to the right and find open receivers. Had W possession caught that right there, probably would have been in business for a big game. There you can see the numbers. A lot of rushing in that first half. There it is again. Boy, he threw. He's trusting his arm, trusting Jimmy Graham. It's going to be a fourth and five, and well, this going. is mad, and we're going for it. You're going for it, and some people will be like, oh, this isn't football. They would never do this in the NFL. In the NFL, they're not playing five-minute quarters, <laughs> Coltrane. I've talked to head <laughs> coaches. Right. I said, hey, if you were playing five-minute quarters, does the game change? They said, absolutely. Your aggressiveness goes up 100%, and that's why you see players go for it in this situation. And there is Baldwin, especially with the running game of True Boy. You might not get it back. And there's young Kiv out there. No tiger jacket. See Joel in there. There's Tweez in the back. Big shot to Joel hanging out with us. Can't, but young Kiv, uh, Falls is going to have to answer to him saying Stevie J had the best hair in Madden. Yeah, it's not even close. Young Kiv makes it different. Oh! Nothing was open. Stevie J's hair rating. That was six. That was six. Uh, it's like a 83. <laughs> Kiv is like a 90s at least. most feared <laughs> strong hair. Yeah, the lettuce. Cheering on the youth. Kiv here supporting his boy, True Boy. Switched his Twitter profile picture to the support True Boy um, photo that they got going around. Low snap on second and 16. Russell Wilson gets loose. And he'll slide down at the 48. It's going to be third and nine. Boy, we got some champions hanging out there. There's Beast Mode Mac, who came down with Joke. And he's throwing up the deuce. He's got a belt. Last year's Madden yeah. Challenge champion, Beast Mode Mac. Lost in the finals of the El Paso tournament to Tweez. And then lost in a win to get in game to True Boy to get here. So Beast Mode Mac, someone we could have very easily seen here if things weren't a little different in a couple of those games. So third and nine and Baldwin with a oh. nice rack catch. And that'll move it down to the 26. Big play for Dubby. And look at him, he's doing the Zeke. You never thought you'd see an Eagles fan doing the <laughs> Zeke. Feed me, feed me. But he has had no problems getting into True Boy territory so far in this game. And I just don't like how True's just sending the pressure, always from this left side, allowing W to constantly roll out here to the right with Russell Wilson. There you go. Well, there you Wilson go. Couldn't break containment there. 
And Grady good Jerry one. gets himself a sack. And that was a good defensive mix-up, and that's what caused the Grady Jarrett sack, Coltrane. Dovey was used to that pressure coming from the left, got too comfortable rolling out to the right. That time, Drew had a contain on that side, flustered Dovey a little bit, makes a defensive play. Way to mix up your play calling if you're true. And way to shut me up, because I thought he was just sending <laughs> him from the left. That's why he's playing, and I'm not. So second and 15, and oh, yeah. Wilson. Boy, back-to-back -back sacks. That's a great adjustment by True Boy. I love it. Once you get comfortable in something and you think someone's giving it to you every time, you get relying on that. True Boy let Dubby think you could roll out right all day long, and then boom, takes it away. Now it's got Dubby in a big third and 16. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Dubby's had it the entire second half thus far. Good and he's got all day by blocking across the middle. And he sc scoops it up. Yeah, you hear Dubby's talking. Yeah, hey, you rush two people, you rush two people. You want to give me seven seconds to sit around in the pocket and make a read? Oh, mistake right there by True. He was dialing up the pressure so good. Drops him back in the coverage that time and pays for it. And there is yeah, Rawls. Fight for me just a little bit, Giannis. Gets to the seven-yard line. And Three down. Three down. There is the GOAT. Got a There's goat only the one GOAT. And the reason I know that is because I played with Middle Tennessee State in NCAA 14. <laughs> Problem the GOAT. People that don't know, that's what many believe to be the greatest Madden player of all time in attendance here watching. This is easy. And there's a touchdown for Dubby, and he's talking to him. And he's talking to him, and you're wondering, where's the coverage right there? What happened in that situation is True Boy did the run commit, tried to sell out on the run, thinking Dubby was going to run it on the goal line. Dubby, with the unorthodox play call, passes the ball, in for touchdown. You see all those defenders collapsing in? It's because he's run committing on second and one. Nervous? And that's a really good strategy, Coltrane. Second and one and some of those obvious running downs, you hit him with the pass play and get a big play out of it. Great and veteran play call right there by Duff Dot Dubby. Yeah, it's tough to run commit Go there. You it's already tough for the offense right down now. there. Go you you don't want to give them any sort of advantage. And now we got a eight-point game, and True Boy's got to go to work. What a game, huh? What a group. We've been talking about it for, oh, come on. I don't know, a week or so now, that this is the game I'm of this them. first round. Yes. To tell you how big this game is, Skimbo's the champ. He's not being featured. That's how big this game is. Hey, way to put it in perspective right there, Coltrane. Oh, and Freeman, boy, almost cut it back. It's going to bring up a second and two. He's over a thou uh, over a hundred yards now. A thousand would be impressive. <laughs> that's Mike. Me that's like me with the Michael Vick solos. <laughs> hey, true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. That's you know what good. I'm talking about. Little second and power. <laughs> yeah. I actually, you know, I went to the uh, Carolina playbook. You know, I, I try to at least give the computer a chance. No. You see True Boy with these stick skills, those spins and those jukes and getting by defenders. That's not fluke, Coltrane. This is something True does on a consistent basis. When I was in El Paso, he had several runs where I was watching the game and he would turn back to me and be like, watch this. <laughs> you just stop, shake someone out of their boots, and that's something you consistently see from True Boy just like that. He's consistently also winning the tackle battles. Yeah. With Freeman. And that's the, these young bucks, they got stick work. As you get older, your stick work seems to diminish a little bit. True in the prime of his career. I think they make pills for that. <laughs> Where we're at. <laughs> Let me get back in the game, man. I haven't had sticks in so late. I need them. Third and two. I think I just found the line. <laughs> they want me to bring it to the line. I think I just found the line. Third and two. We're having fun. I formation. And Coleman, he's the speedster. Let's check with my main man, Zach, on the other game. Scott, it's all Skimbo. Just got an interception. It's now with a two-minute warning. He's got a 27-3 lead. He's got the football. He's looking good. Stevie J right now. Stevie L, back to you. Yeah, it's, uh... And it's back to us, and True Boy's on his horse, <laughs> choking, getting nasty in the open field, and the young buck responds. 
I was waiting for I mean, it, RG. Wow. And now we got an important two-point conversion. So he's going to chase the Ooh. points right here and try to tie it up here in the fourth. Oh, my goodness. True Boy, a.k.a. the ankle breaker. Big two-point conversion play, though. This is huge. This is huge, Gold Train. Well, he, we knew he had a great running game coming in, especially with that stick work. Watch the stretch. Has not disappointed thus far. And he will put it on the ground, and it's an easy two-point conversion. Wow. Take a look at it again, RG. Way to follow your blocks, and then once you're in the open field with True Boy, user versus user, he's going to break them ankles every time. And so Coleman does the long work, and Freeman does the short game, and we're tied up at 21 here in Los Angeles at the Madden Classic. I love competitive gaming. <laughs> I love competitive Madden, Coltrane. This is what it's all about. What a hell game. We call this a hell game. No one's giving anyone an inch. See if Dubby decides to strike quick or does he go for the four-minute offense. He'll free only smoke, gain one smoke, on that handoff to Thomas Rawls. Free smoke, free yeah, smoke. And this is a big drive for Dubby, but he hasn't had trouble yet getting the ball downfield. So let's see if he can keep that consistency going, stay in control of this game, or will he get himself in a situation where he has to fight through some adversity? Second and nine for Dubby. And he throws an absolute strike. That's a deep move. That's a deep move. We mad about that? That's a deep move. Look at True, just laughs it off. Trufon almost broke on that. Almost just a step few inches away from getting under that, making a pick. But True Boy not phased by it at all. I love watching the, these young guys just mature right before our eyes, and we're seeing that from True Boy right now. Very impressive. Letting us know he's in a deep blue. You know, you, you got room. You got room underneath. And Rawls goes absolutely nowhere. Yeah, when Dubby's saying he's in a deep blue, he's saying, hey, that route's open. Maybe yeah. if you had a cloud flat there or a buzz zone, maybe they picked that off, but a deep blue, that's a tough play for him to make, especially True Font, who's a good corner, but not the elite corner, class type corner. Yeah, it's made to keep them in front of you. Second and 11, and there goes uh -oh. Russell Wilson. Oh. Gets to the 41. And yeah, we got a big down coming up. Third and seven for Dubby with just three minutes left in the fourth quarter tie ball game and look at that shot right there coltrane that's classic madden right there right next to your rival on the couch going at it in a big game tied up in the fourth and wilson finds doug baldwin uh -oh. and you're gonna have a decision to make fourth and short uh-oh what a situation we have here fourth and two Approaching the two-minute warning here pretty soon. We're going to have to run at least one more play before that two-minute warning. This is it. This is the biggest play of the game so far, Coltrane. True Boy can get all of the momentum if he can get a stop right here against Dubby. What's guess, Dubby going to go to? Are we going to see Dubby need it with a first down, or are we going to see some top Madden defense out of True Boy right here? Wilson throws the same route to Doug Baldwin. True Font was ready so for it. Disgusting how bad you are, and he says he Damn, needs you're on 18 it. Now? You on 18 now? You on 18 now? You on 18 now? Yeah. You on 18 now? You on 18 now? Sit your dumb ass down. Sit your dumb ass down. <laughs> and Dumpy is talking trash to the That's crowd. Right, man. What Stop. type of player man, is I'm that sorry, where I'm you, you don't I'm even got to focus on I'm the sorry. game? I'll, I'll, I'll focus on the game and I'll it talk trash to the me. spectators. When I told you I'm he's sorry. a special kind of player, I'm I wasn't sorry. joking. Not many people are built like that, Coltrane. A two-minute warning. It was Joel that I'm he was really talking to in the crowd. I told him to sit down. Be humble. Oh, Brady just sit fine. down. I'll take that as a second goal. Yeah. That's the, you know, that's the classic old school Madden move. You talk to everyone else but your opponent, but you're actually talking to your opponent. <laughs> yeah, very true. You can see that True Boy is a bit perturbed. Oh, True Boy uh, hanging in there, though. Aside. Still got all three of his timeouts. Supposed to put right aside. Second and seven, 90 seconds left in this one. 
This has been an absolute gem to open Group A. When and so the side that wasn't right. Who's going to join Joke, Chaos, and Tweez? And Thomas Rawls, and that's a Madden move. You could have walked in, but that's a Madden move. Oh, absolutely. Most people are scoring a touchdown in that situation. These guys are professional. He's going down right there. He's going to try to take away as much of this clock as possible, leave True with no time left, and kick the game winning field goal. The problem is, if Dubby was to get his field goal blocked, that would be tragic for him, and he would regret that. And you might sit and say to yourself, well, they seconds. wouldn't do that in the real game. I'll take a couple more seconds with Actually, me. the Philadelphia Eagles had a guy named, by the name of Brian Westbrook who did that against the Cowboys, and it proved to win the game. Do I dare Second say uh, right I'm here, on boys. Bradshaw versus the Patriots? <laughs> <laughs> Give me, I want a holding no. penalty. Yeah, you might not want to bring that I up. I don't want to bring penalty, that up. Baby. Why am I bringing that Second up? Second level stuff right there. They don't teach that. I want a holding penalty, coach. I want to, I want to take another three off the clock. Second level stuff, man. He's amped. Dump, dump, dump. He is animated. He's, he's amped. Out. And he's having a good time. Back to Rawls. And Rawls will not go in. But I think he picked up the first down. And it's first and goal. Second level stuff right there, boys. Wow. And the other thing is, it's going to be a short field goal here at some point. And now True Boy can't ice him. I know it's a, it's a chip shot. But it's worth mentioning. Yeah. And, and I, I think the concern here for Dubby is going to be the field goal block. He's going to milk this down to no time left. And you just had to one say that, right? Left, he's going to go for the field goal. We got Kiv in the audience, and you want to bring up field goal blocks. Oh, man. That's disrespect. Kiv. For those that don't know, Kiv was down 21 nothing to Tweez in the final How four of El Paso. Fought all the way back, scored with no time left to tie the game, was kicking the extra point to solidify the tie. And Tweez blocked the kick. And I immediately threw up. Like, I was sitting at home watching the stream, immediately threw up. Hey, and before, so a lot of people don't like block kicks, but before in Madden games, this would be over. There would be no intensity. It's like yeah. if you're a viewer at home, you know the game's over, chalk it up. That's not the case anymore. Dubby still has a situation where this kick could get blocked and taken the other way for six. It's not likely, but it is possible. Dubby needs to be careful of that. So he'll take the knee one more time. He'll bend the knee. <laughs> I gotta throw some. I gotta throw some Game of Thrones. Little Game of Thrones. And he'll have an opportunity for the Blair Witch Project to click it through. Regardless of what happens here, phenomenal game. game from both of them. Yeah, phenomenal. But Absolute hell game. Dub dot Dubby is somebody that performs on the big stage, huh? It seems like he plays his best. Well, <laughs> he's either on yeah, fire he's or he's high. horrible. That's, that's true. That's fair. He didn't have great performance. Now, at the Mad Bowl, you couldn't touch him. This is big. That's who's looking to block the kick with. This will win it. And it's up and it's good. And Dubby defeats True Boy. Dubby. And we'll wait. I'll hand. wait. True boy. Say no more. Gives him a look and not we, having we it. We do that. We start to do that. Shit. Good game, buddy. You played well. Yeah, played well. Ha! I think that's in the youth handbook. Handshakes optional here in Group A. Dubby with a three-point win. Come on, I, I'll, I'll do it, bro. I'll, I'll still do it. I know we. Should. We go through a lot. We're not in the youth. We don't do that. For those that <laughs> don't remember, uh, young Kiv versus D. Jones. Kiv also a part of the youth. D. Jones went sure. for the handshake. Kiv gave him a look just like True Boy said, uh-uh, buddy. And uh, same thing right there from True Boy. Well, it's frustrating. You could tell that, uh, you know, that True Boy was frustrated. He yeah. did get an opportunity. He, to be honest, True Boy played a heck of a game. Mm -hmm. Some of the best running we've seen thus far probably deserved an opportunity, didn't get it, didn't get a stop down near the end, and only 51 passing yards for True Boy really kind of set him up. Yeah, like you said, he just needed that stop when at the end of the game, at any point in the game, and he was just never able to make it happen. Dubby was able to get into field goal range time and time again. I'm sorry, Coltrane, I'm looking at him. Dubby's <laughs> still going back and forth with the youth over there in the crowd. Tensions are high in here. Well, get ready to set your DVRs. Let's go to Adrian with, <laughs> with my man Dubby. All right, Dubby, congratulations. You got the win. You know. Congratulations. 
Now, you have beaten Trubor before. You beat him in the group stage, Madden Bowl. How is it facing him again this time? Trubor is a great player. You know, he's, he's really different. He's really unique. He has a lot to offer the game. You know, we went back and forth a lot on Twitter. You know, it's just a competition. You know, playing with other great players just breeds competition. And if it doesn't, you're in the wrong sport. You know, I want to beat all the players that are great. I strive to be the best. So other players that I admire, my peers, I really want to beat them. I want to compete with them. And it's great for men. It's nothing personal. It's just, it's, it is what it is. And in the fourth quarter there, we saw you had a heated exchange with a member of the audience. What was that about? I don't, I don't know who that guy was. I don't really want to talk about it. I don't want to give him any spotlight. The spotlight's deserved on the eight players that made it here, not the players sitting in the stands. And in terms of this competition and this game in general, was there any way you prepared for it differently than you would any other game? Uh, absolutely. We uh, really worked hard to try to stop the stretch. We knew that's what True Boy wanted to do, run a motion stretch. We worked really hard, and I was doing pretty good. Like, the first eight runs, he might have had 15 yards. Then he really started get, going, hitting the right holes, getting the good blocks, and it was a great game. You know, I made one. I got real lucky on one pass, but, you know, I'll take it. That's why I wear the T-shirts, baby. And you too can get lucky if you purchase some t-shirts, neededgamingstore.com. You can get fluky corner. Rock. Great, great, great first round victory. Yeah, congratulations, Dobby. <laughs> Back to you guys.